because I couldn't get all of them but hey cake is cake so what we need now is plain flour sugar baking powder some salt mixed spice some seedless ra raisins vanilla essence, some glacier cherries, milk, butter, and one egg. The recipe will be in the doobly doo there. Or should it be there? Yes, in the doobly doo Anyway, um, so let's get started. Let's measure out the flour. So you will need, you will need 12 ounces of flour. Plain flour, should I say. Eight. So there you go. Twelve ounces. So, there is the flour. You can sieve it if you want to, but I don't. You also need to put a pinch of salt. And then you need the sugar and well, you're supposed to use brown sugar, but unfortunately, I couldn't find any brown sugar. So I'm using white sugar. Um, and you will need six ounces. Six ounces of brown sugar, even though I'm using white sugar. Um, in a bowl, make sure you get, yeah, you've got to make sure you get the little lumps out of the sugar if you're using brown sugar. Add the spice and rub in the butter. Before I do that, I thought I'd introduce you to Crookshanks. Okay, fair enough. He's not Crookshanks, but he's my neighbour's cat. And he's gorgeous. So this is the butter, and we need six ounces of butter. See? Six ounces. Right. So you need to cut this up into chunks so then you can put it in bowl. Continue. So there you go. That is now the butter in the flour, the sugar, and the salt and the baking powder. What you need to do now is make this look like bread. your fingers like so next you need to add the fruit which is the seedless raisins and the glacier cherries raisins, glacier cherries I like to cut the glacier cherries in half so these are the cherries Cut in half. You can use as many or as less as you want. So, put them in the bowl. You will need uh, blah, 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 um, three ounces of currants or seedless raisins. So, there are the three ounces of 
salt on this. Now you need to mix that in with the mixture. This is what you need to fold it in, not mix, sorry, to fold. Like so. So it's all covered with the flour. You make a well in the centre for one egg. Like so. Now you mix that until it goes into a dough. If needed, add one tablespoon, sorry, yeah, one tablespoon of milk. Jim, I forgot that you need to add a couple of drops of vanilla essence. That's about a couple of drops. <laughs> and of course, I've forgotten the mix size. <laughs> I'm no Jamie Oliver. So now you add two. No, you don't. You add a half teaspoon mix of mixed spice. So by the time you've rubbed it all together, it should look like that. If it's still a little dry, add a little bit more milk, but not so it's so sloppy. Right, now to divide and put on the trays. Put your oven on on 180 Celsius, which is 37 Fahrenheit, gas mark 5. Grease your trays with a bit of butter, like so. And you get a handful of the mixture, and you plonk it, well, put it, and you do that on all of the tray until all the mixture has gone. You put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown and firm. Leave to cool on a wire rack and enjoy. Next, chocolate cakes. And now we just have to wait for them. It takes 15 minutes. So in that time, you can do the washing up.